So St Paul's unveils a new work of art, a video installation, a very 21st century medium in an ancient cathedral. And I'm delighted to be able to interview the creators of this work, asking them about the meaning of the work, but also why here in St Paul's? Bill and Kira, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. It's been 11 years since <laughs> this was first talked about. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling like I'm 11 years older. <laughs> it's really, really incredible to come this far and to see what we have produced here. Uh, we are so excited. Uh, it's an uh, amazing situation back there. We've just seen it and it's really, really beautiful. So that is something I think for both Kira and I that is just really, really very, very special and Kira, very moving. You're feeling happy? I'm actually really ecstatic. I was actually quite numb when I first saw the piece because uh, all of the activity leading up to it, you know, the editing was kind of almost down to the wire. Um, but uh, now I've had a chance to actually um, visit with the piece a little bit and get to know it. Um, uh, it feels like it really, really is meant for this yeah. location. And martyrs, why is martyrdom an important topic for a piece of work in a cathedral today? Well, I think that's because the world uh, is changing. And uh, it's a very, very important. You've seen all around the world this discord, this uh, 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 violence that we're seeing constantly. Um, and we felt that really kind of honing in on that and understanding that from the inside because what you're seeing right here are not people who are standing out, you know, in a field or and in, in other various circumstances that we can put them in. We decided to do this from the point of view, not from the viewer, but from the internal space inside the person. And that's where we wanted to angle and, and connect and pinpoint the whole idea of, of martyrdom in terms of our situation here. And Kira demanding for the actors to do that? Um, <clears throat> well, very demanding. Um, at the uh, taking, uh, we had uh, a reference of Bill's drawing of a number of years ago and a little description of, of martyrdom. And uh, we had just finished production uh, on other works, and I'm thinking, well, now is the good time to do it. I just felt that it needed to come out at this point. And so we started working on it, and <clears throat> it was very difficult to uh, try to imagine how to represent martyrs or martyrdom or sacrifice in a kind of a universal way. And so uh, we'd worked a lot with fire and water, and I thought, why don't we just yeah. use the elements? And here are these beautiful drawings of bills, and so I thought, well, this one will be earth, this one will be air, and then fire, and then water. And once we had worked with that a little bit, we decided who was going to be representing these, these, uh, these elements. And so we used two people from um, who had we worked before. They're aerial artists and they had actually worked with Cirque du Soleil and places like that. So they're very used to being tortured, mm. basically. <laughs> right, that's and true. We, we ended up torturing them quite a bit. Yeah. Um, so yes, they had to be very strong and very um, athletic. But at the same time, they both of these people have a fragile look about them that we really loved mm. in, and working with them in the past. Uh, the, the person who did the fire, we worked with him in, an, in another work. You could, he's a beautiful African-American older actor who has uh, a lot of strength inside of him. So he was the fire. And then the uh, person who did Earth had to be very, very malleable and to totally in charge of his body because he had to do the entire action backwards. And then when we run it forward, it looks like there's absolutely no backward motion at all. So yes, we had to have really people who, who could work with precision, with sensitivity. So Bill, I mean, you, mm -hmm. one of the great strengths of art is you can't paraphrase it, but can you just describe the work a little bit as a whole? As a whole? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it kind of has three parts. One is this uh, image of people being left for dead uh, in some horrible, horrible place. 
and then uh, uh, something happens inside them. They're touched by something and they're not going to give up. That's at that point that they realize. So they start to push. So the earth guy starts to get out of the predicament of this dirt poured all over him. And the, the uh, uh, woman who's uh, our air martyr is starting to feel this strong, strong uh, uh, whirlwind happening around her. And again, there's, we just talked about Darrow, the African-American artist. He's, he's, he's actually sitting down the whole time and little drips of fire are starting to come down on him. And of course, it, it turns into a big conflagration. And then the last one, John Hay, he's actually uh, uh, being crucified upside down, if you will. His whole body is, is inverted compared to the other three. And then, um, then what happens is he's slowly rising up with this cascade of water coming down. He's literally falling through a waterfall. And he's, he's pushing himself up and he just goes out and up. And the last thing you see are the people uh, with a, a very strong light coming down and it's now changed. Everybody looks really uh, pale but in, a, in an actually in a spiritual way and, and you feel that going and then the last thing you see are these little drips at the very end. I think that the, um, the use of the elements, the elements are a strong force in nature. In fact, it's, they are the strongest force in nature. You can't control a, a wildfire, you can't control a flood, you can't control an earthquake, and you can't control tornadoes. And so that was the idea, was to make it a, a universal, strong action of some kind. And it kind of represents, in the strongest raging of these elements, represents really the death the past passage through death of each of these martyrs. They have, you don't see any of the decisions. The decisions have already been made that the sacrifice is going to happen. There's no, that's not part of the peace at all. The peace is the resignation and the dignity and then finally the letting go and conquering actually these elements. And finally, St. Paul's has hundreds of thousands of people people of faith, people of no faith, people who are questioning and unsure. What do you hope is going to be the effect on these people as they see this work and then and they go back through those doors? Well, I would say just personally that, that everyone here has something that they need to resolve, something that they really need to um, understand better. And I think that's the, the main essence right here. It doesn't matter what your denominational issues are around. It's like this is a human thing, and we're bringing it down to the human level. Uh, and that's the most important thing. I mean, there's a lot of different cultures around that do things in a lot of different ways. But un underneath all of that, in the core of the human being, throughout the entire globe, there's this place there's this inner place that is going to save you, that's going to bring you in and teach you something, even if it's going to hurt, even if it's going to cause suffering at, at the moment. But in the end, it will actually blossom into something uh, extraordinary. Thank you very much. You're welcome.